Hello everyone and welcome back to Undertale. I came back to this menu and it's usually just been um, her sitting there, but apparently now Sans and Papyrus are sitting there, so let's continue. I don't know why that's so different. So let's go. Are we going to see, uh, yep, we're definitely going to see Undyne here. Hello. 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 Oh. Hi. I can stay on the edge and not be oh, hit. Hi, Undyne. I'm not fighting you. Oh no, I fall again. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Cory, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Chloe? Okay. Good thing I got the ice cream. <laughs> Why did I use it? Bike. You rest your hand on the rest of the bike. It's horn. Weeds is a horn. Yeah. We have desktop. Oh, it's a cooler. Yeah. You know, like, what are you trying to do? You tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. You think you can hurt me? <laughs> I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were nice in for a chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable, it spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Talk. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't see much for conversation. No one was happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Oh, it's just stuff being shot at me. Ow, you dummies. 
Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you, forget I said anything about magic. It doesn't seem much for conversation, no one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. I thought he was doing an armless god dance. I'd use your soul across the barrier. Bossing around its bullets. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Then everything I want will be mine. He's getting cotton. Nice cream. What was her name again? <laughs> Matt Dunn needs to get caught in all over the dialogue box. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Matt Dunn needs to get in. Yeah, it's still. Talk to them, it doesn't seem much for conversation. No one's happy with this. Oh crap! Hey, dude, I don't want to fight you. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Hey guys, dummies, 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 remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired, you're all being replaced. Ha 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 now you'll see my true power relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical weirds fill the room, talk. Dummy robot magic missile. Oh. Dummy robots, try again. <laughs> Talk to him, doesn't seem much for conversation. No. <laughs> Dummy robots, you're awful? Smells like a clothing store. Yeah, what's an astro food? Dummy robot's final attack. <laughs> no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. 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 Nah. What the heck is this? Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Thanks, next to Luke. I knew it. I knew it. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Oh, dude, I want to talk. Yeah. Hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see. Or in case you don't. You feel, yeah. I walk around, and I can go up. 
I'm gonna get six years. Yeah! Dun, dun, dun. You're okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Uh, do you want to listen to some tunes or something? That spook wave? Spook tune. I like spook wave. Computers, internet, yada yada. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. He phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lay, lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Okay. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. Okay, bye. It's locked. I wonder where I go from here. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. What? 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 It's a living. Oh, dude. I'm visiting Waterfall from the city. So chronically, my neighbor daughter, neighbor's daughter looks about your age. Her name is Susie. I feel like you two should be friends. You have a neighbor's blessing. North Blook Acres, East Hotlands, Timmy Village. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blook Family Snow Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Ah, oh, cool. You want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snail will race. If the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Sure. Uh, don't remember which one's Z. I think it's A. Ready? Looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. <laughs> oh. Hi, Nasta Bluke. And that's your house. Okay. Now where's Timmy Village? That's no, not here. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Sure. Oh man, that should have been an impossible game. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can I? Can you kill it? Are you a star? So that ain't it.
Okay. There you go. Hi, onion son. Did you hear? You're back. I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starting a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chippy Peppers. <laughs> All I've thought of was the name. And I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? Yeah. Yeah, me too. can't think of it anyway. Statue. Nope, this whole trip was useless. Onion song? There you are. Oh, did you hear? I got nothing else to talk about. Hey, buddy. Green means coin. That's a pair of ballet, ballet shoes. Yeah. Cool. A lot of ballet stuff, for some reason. Nigga, I don't know. Duck, take me across. Yes. Alright, 
time to keep on going. What's this? Whoa there. I've got some neat junk for sale. Yourself. I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> huh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> well, that's a delta rune, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say, oh king fluffy bones can't name for beans. That emblem actually predates written history, the original meaning of the lost time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above to bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that the winged circle the angel of death. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from the mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> the king. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Huh? Why do I call him call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure to have remembered by then. About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Garden. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I bought your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> okay, bye. Be careful out there, kid. Do I need to read all these signs? Heart beating fearful for the humans' lives, I don't know, yada yada yada. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to the human souls, seven human souls attack this barrier, it will be destroyed. Because place, there's no way a human could come in here, we will remain trapped down here forever. Ooh! Special enemy. Timmy appears here to defeat you. Talk. Say hello to Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy. I can't even be mad at you. Timmy <laughs> vibrates immensely. I don't want to fight you though. That's... that's interesting. Hmm... Just having a quiet time... Wait. Yeah... Ooh! Dang! I got your attention then! Hug. Need some distance. 
unhug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Seems comfortable with your presence. Bye. Ooh. That was weird. Maybe I gotta go... Okay. So it's just a weird puzzle. Figured it out though. Washua, clean. Education, hobby, talent. Come on in. Okay. Flex. <laughs> Flex twice as hard. Flexing contest. No oh, ice cream. No need for a swing. Okay. Flex again. Fuck this right, that's hard. Nice. Do it again. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How do you flex yourself out of a room? It's pretty hard flexing. Try that again. There's that one. Need some distance. Unhug. There you go. Wait, what is that? Crystal thing. This is one nice wall. Here we go. Behind you. Hi. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity, and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you. You got front row seats to her fight. Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you?
so much reading. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who's seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Yo. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of think at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please. No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I'm... I'm such a turd. Um, I'm gonna go home now. Yo, wait, help, I, I tripped. Yo, dude, if if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. I guess being enemies was just a nice thought, huh? We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I really should go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. What? Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as a customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it. Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Yeah. You're standing in my way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Alpha's history books made me think humans was, were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. <laughs> you know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this. Right here. Right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> telling your field of determination save come at me that's it then no more running away here I come on guard you tell them dying hard attacks are too easy the bulls get faster as long as you're green you can't escape unless you learn to face danger head on you won't last a second against me Then how about this? Bounces impatiently. Challenge. For years we've dreamed. Yada yada. Smells like sushi. You tell them diner types are too easy. Now sunlight is just within our reach. What? With her heroically 
towards this guy. Get your crap apple. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Smells like sushi. Yeah, enough warming up. Them bouts and impatiently. Challenge. <laughs> You're tough. That's really I have no more. You told him that attacks are too easy. But if you could beat me. And then goes her fingers across her neck. No human has ever made it past Asgore. And then I'm going to heroically towards this guy. Honestly. Oh, that one, that one's Trixie's. Dot. So stop being so resilient. What are humans made of? I see now what she meant by that. But I'm determined to. I'm determined to end this right now. Right now. <sighs> right now. Right now. <laughs> now die already, you little brat. I will never take mercy from the likes of you. You will never spare me. You know what I'm trying to see if it's a prank. Plead? Dole and Diane, you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks became a little less extreme.
told him that he doesn't want to be friends. She remembers someone her time. Try it. Stop running away. Come back here, you little punk. Ring. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. Sons, are you asleep? Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. Give Undyne the water? Yes. There you go. Really, Sans? This won't disappear on me. There you go. Oh, okay, 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 are you just carrying that around? It looks sophisticated because it's not working. Oh, whoops. Papyrus. A water cooler in Hotland? That's weird. Shouldn't it be a, a fire cooler instead? The water vapor evaporated from the heat, the cup evaporated too. It's down here. Oh. Tra la la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride my boat. Would you care to join me? Yes. Where will we go today? The waterfall. Then we're off. Let's go, dude. Uh oh, so suddenly feeling tropical. Come again sometime, tra la la. I'm visiting the water. You have a. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Is it? It's right here, isn't it? There it is. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. 
She loves these. Hi, Peppers. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? Oh. That wasn't good. <laughs> Here, I'm dying. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> Jesus, dude. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie daisy. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> nice. So, why are you here? Throw up your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Oh, crap. I meant to put no. It's the perfect revenge. Uh, why don't you have a seat? It's not to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Sit down and progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use a spear. <laughs> yes! Are you hitting on me? Sugar goes in tea. Sickly yellow liquid, soda. Hot chocolate with green cylinder. Tea box. Blindly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <coughs> there we go. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was pretty hot-headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and then from then on he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So, I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, um, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak, he's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... 
He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And he's not here to have it. You'll have to have it for him. Oh, that'll work for me. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyr uh, Papyrus and I closer to the cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Afraid? We're going to be best friends. <laughs> we'll love it. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How would you pound? You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now. We have the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I'd just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. No, you put them fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do this. Stir hard. <sighs> Let me do it. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. And your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hotter. Hotter. Dang it. Hotter. Wait. That's two. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I have even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. And I was letting you make the first attack. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Unknown with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? You've been attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid Sasharine stick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. 
Now, now you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Aww. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, if you ever need help, just pa give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. It went well, I guess? You feel a calming tranquility, you're filled with determination. Well, that was a good hour. So, I'm calling it right here. Thanks for watching, and see you guys.